I want to be the very best that no one ever was. To catch them is my true test. To train them is my cause. I want to travel across the land, searching far and wide. These Pokemon, they are the best. It's the power that's inside. Pokemon! God, I still love that song. I remember coming home every day after school and just sitting down, watching the show. I loved the original uh, 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 Indigo League. I loved Indigo League? Whatever. Yes, I loved the original show. I tolerated the Orange Islands. I loved the Johto Journeys. I loved the Advanced Series. That was the one with in uh, Ruby, uh, Sapphire Land, whatever. I kind of drifted off from there and would occasionally go back to the show to see what was up in uh, Neverland where little boys with girls' voices stay 10 years old forever. But eventually, I admit, I just kind of aged out of the show, but I still love the games. Uh, of course, Gen 2 is always going to be my favorite. Uh, Crystal version still has my level 100 Typhlosion. I will never give it up. But this new game, it's got potential. Uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield, we have seen... Teases, we've seen drops, we've seen little itsy bitsy bits, and we've got our fighter rabbit, which uh, we saw in some uh, 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 Nintendo Playhouse footage, that treehouse footage, that it's probably going to end up being another firefighting type. Why do you do this to us, Nintendo? Uh, we've got our weird looking tadpole, we've got our monkey. But all of this could potentially be something good. Now, we've seen all the stuff that's dropped already. We've seen the sword dog, but now we finally get some gameplay footage here at E3. And I gotta say, it looks promising. And it looks like what I always imagined an actual Pokemon adventure could look like. Running around in the field, you just see a Pokemon out there, you go after it, you're creeping through the tall grass, and then maybe you encounter something that you weren't expecting. Uh, looking at this footage, and I'm going to have some of it overlaid here. I don't know when I'm going to put it in. If it's in, if it's in, if it's not, if it's not, whatever. Uh, it looked good. Uh, you've got the main character, whoever they are, running around. You can see them uh, confronting Pokemon in the open field like they did in uh, Let's Go Eevee, Let's Go Pikachu. But there's also areas in the grass you can run into truly random encounters like you weren't expecting. Hey, little Machop, you want to come? Oh my god, the swarms of Machop are coming for me! There were moments that were creepy when you have swarms of Pokemon coming at you when you whistle at them, but then there were other moments that were just cool. Uh, but also, one of the things I'm most encouraged by is there doesn't seem to be a level cap on wild areas anymore. Basically, uh, you actually, it looks like, will have to use some strategy now because when I was watching this gameplay footage you see the guy running around oh I've got my level 12 whatever uh, fire rabbit and it can handle all these other level 12 level 10 level 9 uh, Pokemon just fine but then oh let's let's go touch the matchup hi matchup how are you doing oh my god it's level 28 and then oh look a, a Creepy black bird, Quarrenite, which looks like it could consume my soul and drag it down to the depths of hell. How are you doing? Oh my god, it's level 45. Uh, there was some good stuff there. I don't know how I feel about this whole Dynamaxing thing where you basically shove an air hose up the Pokemon's rear and turn it into a giant Macy's Day Parade float. If you don't know what a Macy's Day Parade is, you've just shown me how old I am. I don't know how this is going to turn out. It's basically the latest, uh, it may end up just being the latest one-off mechanic they have each generation, be it double battles, triple battles, diagonal battles, spinny battles, or uh, apparently now Mega Evolution's gone by the wayside. And Totem Pokemon, what's that? But I am encouraged. It's better looking than I expected it to be. I personally don't care about the co-op anything because it's Pokemon. I play Pokemon to catch Pokemon. I personally 
just want to get in there. I want to play the game. I want to have fun. And what little footage we've seen so far of the open world, I'm encouraged by. So E3 was good to us, at least Nintendo was. And I'm encouraged by what they've given us as far as Pokemon goes. Let's try to find out more. Let's find out what more of the new Pokemon look like. That's what I want to see in the upcoming months before the game's release. Because uh, something I noticed, some something I noticed, somebody else noticed while watching this Nintendo Treehouse thing was, hey, all the Pokemon have Everstones. Why can't we see their evolutions? Yeah, so Nintendo uh, definitely evolution blocked us. Uh, excitement. There is. Yes, there is excitement. So thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you thought of the Pokemon footage that we saw today. And uh, give me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning in to Rated RPG. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Give me a subscription. This E3 weekend has been very good for us. I think since Friday we picked up like six subscribers, which is a cha-cha-cha good uh, rate of subscribers for me. And also may have helped that I've been just putting out three, four videos a day. I don't think I can maintain that pace. But, hey, it's been a good time. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good night. All the latest gaming news from Rated RPG.